Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Indeed it is. Hello everyone, welcome to Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. And now we're going to start Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Oh dear. But, um... But then again, my opinions could easily change for Crash Bandicoot 2, I hope, um, due to my lackluster playing um, it on the PS3 um, quite a few years ago now. So now let's uh, get things started. I think this is now part 16 of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, so now let's get started with Crash Bandicoot 2 Quarter Sex Back. Let's go. I think there's a cutscene, I believe, um, like the other ones. Can you tell me something, Aku Aku? Oh, this is taking a bit of a while to load. <laughs> Did I hear a cat? <laughs> Crystals, of course. No, <laughs> no. I like that. But Doctor Cortex, to reach full power, we need not only your master crystal, but also the remaining twenty-five slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we'll need to find an enemy. Crash! Crash! Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. Wow, I like that animation with her trying to wake up Crash Bandicoot up. Um, um, yeah, yeah, I actually love the animations for this game, especially for the cutscenes. Um, um, Because it's really getting up to the point where PS4 is now starting to become movie quality with, that, with its cutscenes. And I'll definitely say it about that. Of course, now you've got the slide move from Crash Bandicoot 3. And of course, now I've got full analog control, which is now actually perfect for this game. Because with the original game, I'm always used to using the D-pad. And with Crash Bandicoot 3, I'm always used to the um, uh, analog stick. But when it came to Crash Bandicoot 2, um, using the D-pad for the PS3 one, it really threw me off. Okay, cutscene time. Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I'd rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. And I guess you're wondering why is Crash going along with Crash with, with Cortex's plan? You see, this game, um, especially in the original one, this is where it's where it's been um, explained. That Crash Bandicoot is not really that intelligent, and, well, he's stupid. <laughs> uh, so he'll pretty much accept anybody's um, uh, offer. And I think in Twin Sanity, I think they mentioned that um, Crash loves shiny things, and he'll go for anything. So far, I'm liking this. I am. Plus, the slide jump is really cool. It is now. Um, I will have to play this stage again because there's actually a secret gem here, which requires destroying, um, which requires not destroying any of the boxes. Um, Now, 
Now, yeah, well, uh, as I was getting to earlier, the reason why I never liked Crash Bandicoot 2 was actually because, um, was actually because of the, of the controls for that game. Um, because for the digital one, um, uh, it really threw me off because, um, he, because Crash Bandicoot 3 had analog control. The second game did, but that was in later printing, especially for the UK when, um, when, um, it would be, um, uh, the Platinum Hits, or the, um, Greatest Hits if you're in, um, OH SHOOT! Oh, I was trying to do the slap. Great, the memories of Crash Bandicoot 2 are coming back to me! Oh dear. Oh dear, that was not meant to happen at all. Uh, yeah, I just don't get why in the digital release of Crash Bandicoot 2, I'm trying to do a slide jump to those boxes, and of course I'm going to hit that didgeridoo a lot because this is because this game introduces the nitro boxes. Okay, how am I going to get over there then? Come on. Oh, come on! That means I've really got to do on the very end. This is gonna suck if I'm gonna bloody lose all my lives on the first stage. Right. Not in the mood for picking apples. Wumper mm -hmm. fruit, god damn it! Right. Now, come on. Come on! Yes! There we go. Okay, none of that crud. Do I need that? <sighs> Great, give me a box that I need to get up there. That means I need to go and get these bloody boxes again. Easy, easy. <sighs> Do I need the slide jump to get up there? There we go. Now I need to get on the other bloody ostrich. There we go. Oh, great. Now I lost the opportunity to get the gem here. All right. Screw you, ostriches. Actually, I'm not even thinking about doing 100% anyway, so I just wasted my bloody time doing that. I, when it comes to boxes, they're in such stupid locations there are. I would love to do 100% for this game, but... Good God, is it a bloody chore? Actually, I'll do that next time. Uh, get the gem properly. Plus, I need to farm up on lives as well. Much rats. Okay. Oh, wait, are they rats or are they moles? I don't know. Where's the crystal anyway? Did I pick up the crystal? Yeah, uh, oh yeah, I did pick up the crystal. Alright then. So I've got the crystal now. Well done, Crash. I knew I could rely on you. 
Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. The crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Are you there, Crash? 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 Are you there, Crash? Crash? I like it how the story for this game is self-aware that Cortex is the uh, uh, is the brains behind it, and of course, Crash, being an idiot of a character, believes him. Yeah. Yeah, do those breakdance moves. Well, I'm going to call apart here, guys, and i see you guys next time uh, for more Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back in Insane Edition.